Welcome back to End the Napoleonic Wars, where defeat isn't certain yet, but it's looking very likely, as you can see by that. Anyway, let's keep going. See, the two times I've played previously, I've ended up with the Napoleon Abdicates on nine, and the second time I won the game, although, as I said, I think I made a few little mistakes, so it wasn't a true win. And one thing you've seen from this game is how when you start to rush it's easy to miss little things like i keep missing i seem to keep missing it all the time the the imperial guard i forget to roll for that little things like that and i usually remember as i'm going along um but it is a good idea on your first few playthroughs to stick to the rule book and, and go through the rule, rule book methodically anyway money 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 four pound and we've got all five trades so that's nine um, Prussia have surrendered again, so Austria we get 11, 12, we've got one for the culture American as well, 12, but we roll for the continental system, and it's a 5, so we'll, we'll, lose, uh, we'll lose all but, we'll lose 5 pounds from the 12, so we only have 7 pounds to play with, which is not very good, because I want to try and get Germany back on board, so, do I go? I go with two pounds added to the minor war fund. The Burr Nation turn ten is Austria, and is there any events? Um, no, no, no events this turn. The events do peter off, as you can see later on. But we do need to draw some minor war chits. Uh, minor war. High politics chips. Two of them to draw this turn. A war in the Caucasus. Now, which is there. We need an 11. I'm actually not going to, because we haven't got much money in the minor war fund. I'm not going to waste, well, potentially waste it. So I'm going to, we need an 11 or a 12 to roll, roll in the two dice. It's... Yeah, there's no no anchor icon, so we can't use the high seas. Control. Oh, we've got an 11. So we've won that minor war. So we saved, saved two pounds. And we won the war in the Caucasus. Let's have a look out here. I've got an eight at client. A plus one. So not, that's in our benefit. So let's roll to see where it goes. It's a six, so it goes in the burn nation, and it helps us because it gets rid of that minus one. And it goes to a plus one, which is very good because, as you've seen, Austria's the burn nation this turn. Diplomacy phase, and hard and Talleyrand already on the board. Let's see how the ones go. A one and a three. So we've got one in France, not bothered about that one. Ooh, and a three. That one's going there. Now, due to the lack of money, now that one's, we've only got three diplomats anyway. What I'm going to do, I think, Ooh. knocking everything over, so clumsy. I might just use two. Um, no, I can use three, so. I'm going to try and take Reinhard out. Metternich. Really want to get rid of that. No, I really want to get rid of that diplomat. Because I want to get Prussia back on side. I'm almost tempted to use two diplomats to have a go. But let's risk it. So that's three pounds out of the treasury. So we're down to two pounds. So let's do the two minor ones. With Metternich, we need a three because of the four and one value there. Three, one, two, or three to get rid of Reinhardt. And a one. So he goes back. So we've got rid of him. Same again. We need one, two, or a three for this diplomat. And a five. So we don't get rid of that one. But this is the key one. We need him. And so we've got Castle Ray. So it's a one, to, one to four we need. We haven't got it. Ah, I should have gone for Mind you, I didn't roll enough for that one anyway. So, so we can't get Prussia back on board. 
this turn because we've got a diplomat in that box. Um, okay. So diplomacy phase done. Gone down my phase. We want four. Going to France, which doesn't really interest us. Four to the Bear Nation, which does interest us. We need this for many reasons. We need to keep Austria in the war. Put these guys there. I just want my notepad, so I'm just going to pause it a moment so I can add up their scores. It just makes it easier as I'm looking. Probably just for that. I'll show you what I was getting. This notepad. I keep a note of all the scores uh, for the strengths of the units. Just make make it easier each turn to work out who's going where. So I'm out of breath going to get that. Okay. So we've got the Burr Nation. Now diplomats. One in France. One in Germany, one in Austria, and one in Spain. No, not one in Spain, what am I doing? Italy it was, Italy, sorry. Not with it. Now we want the invasion table. Let's see. Game turn 10, plus one, we've got 11. Four in Germany Italy, and two in Italy. It's going in Germany. A bit of attempting here. Two in Italy. Not to bother with Germany this turn, because we can't get them back in. They've already surrendered, so we're not going to lose the Prussian units. The three nations I could take are these three. Now, chances are Napoleon will end up in Austria or Germany. Germany won't bother us. We could, so it's, it's unlikely he's going to be in Spain. Grand strategy, as you know, that means you just roll randomly with a one. So as long as you don't roll a one, or a six, actually, we could end up with. Right, okay. We haven't got much money either. So what are we doing here? We've got 7, 13, 17, 23 in Austria, 14 in Italy, 1 in Spain. So, I'm going to, the British can't go into the Austria actually, but the Russians and the Austrians can which will come in 11, 15, 24, 30, 34, 39. The British can go into Italy though, 19. Five up. Further would give them. Where is it? Oh, so they've got maybe two dice. So five up plus two dice. He said they'd finish on eleven. Which it. <laughs> got two pound on there. I need to. I'm just going to chuck these into Spain. So we keep that. If Napoleon ends up in Spain with. We've blown it basically with that anyway. And then I'm going to put this stack in here. So we're going to we use all our cash, our two pounds there with this. We now roll for Napoleon. Let's see if he's going to end up somewhere nice. Does. Five. Five added to the ten is fifteen. I think we're right. Germany. Napoleon plus four. I've only got two to go there with Napoleon. So what happens there is if there's not enough, if 
will take from the map. Follow these parameters. Never take from nations from the Fran from France or the nominated nation so no forces from there never leave a nation uncontrolled take forces from un uncontested nations leaving the weakest behind in order to main control, maintain control there is no other uncontested nation that's the only the one then you have to go if there are not enough french forces in uncontested nations then pick up forces from contested nations but the strength point difference must remain positive for the French, which is not there. Um, so the only place I could take them from would be Germany, and they're going back into Germany anyway. So what I am, what happens is, I'll just put Napoleon in there with the two that he's he's got with him, even though I've seem to have lost. <laughs> That's there. I'd lost the Napoleon marker, so that's there, so. Okay, I'm going to, what am I going to do first? I'm going to get this one out of the way. There's a chance they could end up piling in here, but. Well, eight, 18, 20, four, 24, 29. Now 41, 47, let's roll for the Imperial Guard. No, no Imperial Guard coming. 47. Further. It doesn't matter because say we roll three. What what it matters? Well, sorry. Let's carry on. Germany. So we're 47. Oh, we've got five of those. So the 42 up. Um German further is four. Six minus one. So roll two. So the forty-two up. We roll two down. We're going to end up on a negative. We're going to end up there. What we don't want is a one or a two to the right, and we haven't got it. That's good. In fact, that's brilliant because these slot into here and strengthen us here. So we've got another five strength points there. That is good. Although further, it's lose three. Yeah, well, the French add three, so it was Napoleon N. So we add three to the German further, so they're up to seven. Let us now do this one. So Italians further is four. Four and two, but there's a plus two and a plus one, so that's a five. So four and a five, we're still only getting French advantage, unfortunately. Not quite. But we're all two dash. Hopefully that'll be enough with. Where are we? We are. They're on 14, we're on 19, we're on 27. We've got a 13 advantage there with two dice to roll. 13 plus 5, 18, French retreat. I'd like to wipe some out, but yeah, well, to go back to France, further goes up by one. Down by one, down by one, goes in our favour. Now the Austrians, let's have a look at uh, where we end up with the light infantry. Um, we've got a plus one modifier now, remember, and Austria is on three further. Three plus one, so it's four, three and a four, so we're just on the advantage, so we're on we're on two dice here as well. But we have got it, we've got a twenty-one point advantage now. So we can't come after them even if we wanted to. So we're up here, coalition pursuit. We know we wouldn't do it anyway, because I've I've got what I wanted. Except we haven't got any casualties all that's not a big deal because we've got our three so they retreat austrian further drops by one end of the fighting one two three nations controlled including the burr nation
so we get that back up to five. We now change, if we get any cultural icons we can go after, no, because we're in control of that. Okay, so further, France would increase by one, but it doesn't, because it's a maximum. Germany increases by one again, only one, because Napoleon and there's no extra modifier. Austria drops by one. Italy drops by one. And Spain, even though there's no battle for this, drops by one because we're in control. All red diplomats now go back. This guy's flipped. This diplomat's in France, so he goes back onto there, then I put Reynard on top of him. Now, let's get rid of all these units. I think, uh, emigre, go back into the counter tray. Due to, as you saw, we've got a bit of a lack of funds at the moment. I'm a little bit worried about how many of these we leave out control things on. What's the burn nation Germany next time again? We might, oh, I don't know. We might, need, might regret this, but let's take this one off the board. Spanish. Leave that one. So then these guys, I'll oh, go back in the cup. No casualties anywhere this turn. One thing I can't remember if I did it or not. Egypt. When Napoleon goes to Egypt, Napoleon should be flipped. But also, when's the other time he should be flipped? I think it's something to do with the divorce. So now let me just double check. Yeah, it's when Napoleon's divorced, and I think I missed that, so that may. That, Another error I should have kept. I think I did it. I flipped it for Egypt. I don't think I did it for the divorce. So again, it hurt me. So Napoleon should have been flipped and shouldn't have been able to take any um, armies onto the board later. But um, I missed that. So the Spanish as well. Go back in here. Transfer funds. We've hardly got any. I'll just leave as it is. And we now go to the accident table. If you remember, we're rolling two. So we've got six. So it's this one. Which not a lot will happen on that one, as you'll see. Reign of Terror. I think the Terror marker's got to be on the board. Yeah, if the Terror marker is on the map, it's not. That went off. So nothing for the Reign of Terror. Cultural icon, we, we have got... Two cultural icons here, so let's take one of these guys. It's Goya. I believe he goes into Spain there. I'm going to check it. Yeah, Goya goes into Spain. Secret negotiations. So one of the three strength diplomats is flipped again. And we can either bring back a pound to trade if we'd lost one, which we haven't, or we can put three pound into the treasury, which is well needed at the moment. So we've got a bit of cash. And the final one is naval battles, which doesn't happen, don't happen because of the Battle of Trafalgar already taking place. That's hurt us as well. If, if we could have won a few more naval battles, that would have moved the Napoleon abdicates marker along a few which obviously it hasn't, so we're behind the eight ball. And that 
is the end of the turn. Um, so let's go straight on to turn 11. Nothing, no actions to take place there. Yeah, no events, sorry. Cash, £4, £5, £5 for the trade, so it's £10, £2 of Austria. So we've got £12 and we roll for the Continental System. £10 to come. So we're on to £13, which is a bit better. So I'm going to use £4. Just a little bit. To get the Minor War Fund up to eight. And we've got you know, two high politics chits. Bur Nation is Germany. <coughs> so let's check these high politics chits. An eight at client. Now the X is great because that means we roll three dice every time on this nation. Let's hope it's Germany, that would help us. What, a two or a six? And we've got a four instead. Well, it does help us, but Italy's not a big big deal, so we discard that one. Because Italy having the Pope as the while well, he's there is the advantage. It's great. So that's the first one. We've got now we've got Bavaria. So I think think that brings us something else so where does it say Bavaria no I was thinking I was getting mixed up with the Duchy of Warsaw but the Bavarian one it just goes into the cup as their another army for them that's that Diplomats, Reynard will be the first one out, he's the blue die, five, looks like he's going to Spain, and the three for Austria. So what am I going to put on the bottom? I don't want to get rid of him. One, we've got three, we've got these two. Not particularly bothered about these. So the big one is if we can get rid of him, we can get Prussia back on. So one, two, three, or four, we'll do that. And yet again, we've rolled a six, and yet again, I've risked it, missed out. Oh, I've not stayed good. Three pound for the three diplomats. Um, I'll roll for the, I need one, two, or three for the first one. Got rid of that one. And I need one, two, three, or four. Get rid of We've got that. So we got rid of those two, but we didn't get rid of the important one. Now, let's get some guys out. Four to France. Four to the Bear Nation. Diplomats. One there. One there. And one there. Spain. We'll need to control all four of these because I mean, it doesn't matter if we'll miss out on one of those, I suppose. But that could be interesting because if we missed out on that, I could try and get Goya over to our side. So I may do that. Um, we now roll for Napoleon uh, for the invasion table now. Four plus eleven for the game turn. Fifteen. Austria two. Spain two. Italy two. Austria two. Spain two. Italy two. What have we got here? 
when did I say the beer was? 6, 10, 1922 in Germany. Um, in France, 9 or 10, 9, uh, not in France, in Austria. Italy is 13. We've already got nine in there. Got plenty of cash this turn as well, so we can use some of these. Oh, sorry, I've not put France, uh, French in Spain. We've got 11. I've got 15 in Spain. But I might just leave that one. Let's look where Napoleon could end up. We are on game 11, so probably Austria or Germany is going into, so let's pack them in. Unlikely he'll end up there. So we'd four down in this area. And we're going to roll three dice. So I'm going to put another two, three, seven. So we're three up. Nine up and we're throwing two dice there. No? Yes. So we're nine up. Yeah. But it's two pounds to come off the treasury for that. And we've got the British, the Russians and the Austrians. The British can't go into there, so they're going into Germany. So it's 19 at the moment. Against the Germans got 22. The Austrians have only got nine in there. Russians and the Austrians can go in any. What have we got here? 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the Russians in here. So Germany we're up to 34 because I'm gonna put all of the Austrians in there. And the Russians, nine, 15, 19, 24. Against nine, but I'm also going to trip, knock these in as well as so 27, which costs another pound. But the reason for that is, even if we don't get the three to control, we need to be in control of Austria, otherwise, we lose Austria from the coalition, and then we lose Russia as well. Because if they're both out of the coalition, we also lose Russia. So it's very important. So we now roll for Napoleon and into Austria. So 11 plus 3, 14, Germany. So we've got 2, 3. So in Germany, they get another 8. Another 13 going on there. So they're actually one up on us there. They've got 35 strength points, we've got 34. Um... I think I might resolve that one first. <coughs> so let's roll. Unfortunately, German fervor's raised a bit as well, so we we'll modify one minus one. So. <laughs> Eight. So it's French domino, we're only rolling one die. And we're minus one, so we're going to lose this battle. Five minus one is four. So it's coalition retreat. Which is bad in a lot of ways. They can't come after us. Um, sorry, I should have had Napoleon in there as well. And I should have rolled for the Bill Gow. They haven't got that, so that's not messed me up too much. Further drops by, uh, increases by three. Now I've got a massive army in 
Austria. We could actually end up going after them here because if we can if we can defeat them and pursue them, we can get everybody into Germany. So we're not, it's not over yet, this. So let's do this one. We've got Italy, they've got 13, we've got 22. So we're nine up. We've got that X there, so it's always this now, no advantage. So we roll three dice every time. And we're nine up already. 14, 17, 19. Coalition glory. So we've won in Italy. We'll drop them there. So we're now... What have we got here? We have got a score here of 61 against 9. Now, we've won this battle. You know, we've, we've had this many times now. We just need to know what the white dice rolls. But we'll do the thing. It's minus 1 modifier. Austria is there. So it's five. Nice stuff. So it's four. Austrian fervor is there. So it's we roll three dice for this as well. So it's whether we get a one or a two, and we don't. So Austrian fervor will drop down. These French guys retreat, but we can't go after them, so they retreat safely to Germany. And that means we don't move Napoleon abdicates we can, we can try to get Goya because we're not in control of Spain um, let's have a go at that one so we pay one pound if we roll one to four we get Goya over to the London side so I'm going to pay the pound is a one, so we get him. So it's almost like a compensation for losing. It was one of the reasons I did leave that though, so. So we've got that. No Napoleon abdicates moving upwards. He doesn't move down because they've got casualties. And then we change further again. France can't go up. Germany goes up one again. So they're starting to become more pro-Napoleon. Austrian can't go any lower. Italy's down to one as well. And Spain goes up because they're in control of that. The diplomats come back. He's unflipped. If unflipped is a word. I need to put, if I need to put two diplomats in here next time, I will do to try and make sure we get rid of him. Um, then we're all for casualties. So one or a two. Means we can permanently discard a casualty. No, so we can't. So these all safely go back in the cups. The French ones first. Napoleon is back to his bed. And our guys go back into the forces pool and it work out what I'm doing with the duchy forces actually because I don't want all of these here Germany is the burn nation next turn so I'm just going to put leave that one I'll leave these out so I don't know use all duchy forces so might as well help them bound to be battling Austria, we need to be in control of it, so I'll leave them there. I think that's everything. Transfer funds, do I want to transfer any funds? No, I don't. Man of War funds looking pretty good. Yeah, leave everything as it is. Accidents phase. So I rolled a two, and it's seven this time. I think we've had most of these, in fact I think we've had all of these before, so nothing new. So I'll go through them quite quickly. Unexpected accident, pretty sure we've had that, that means we just pick a high politics shit out. Barbary Pirates means nobody controls the high seas next turn, so we don't get the advantage in any minor wars. French Intrigues Abroad. That's the... Um, Oh, flip out of Castle Ray or Metternich face down. Can't be used next to. 
It's a bit of a blow because we've now got two. Oh no, we haven't got two flip. No, that's from last term, aren't it? One of them. So we've still got three. Nationalism. So other nations realise they can be patriotic and roll for a random nation. The two is Germany. We reduce further by minus two. And thing we can do is we can if there's an ATAT in the same nation which there is and it's a minus one ATAT the player may pay one pound from the treasury and roll the die on a one or a two remove the ATAT from the game I'm going to go for that so we're going to pay the pound and try and remove that ATAT client one or a two we need we have we've got it so that goes out of the way So we've done that cultural icon. We've got one left, if you remember. Volta, who goes into Italy, I believe. It's be Italy, surely. Yeah, Volta goes into Italy. Friedrich Wilhelm Dre, or the third. That's the piece of Basel, that's already discard that, that's already happened. Diplomatic offensive. This is what I thought the other one was, yeah. It's where we roll. We go clockwise and counterclockwise. Ah. We've got a bit of a in addition, if the link by marriage marker is on the map, move the Napoleon abdicates marker one box to the left towards zero. So we're back down to four. We're having a terrible time. Napoleon's still going strong. Black roll. And it's odd, which means counterclockwise. So that one goes there. That one goes there. That one goes there. I suppose slightly good because it means we haven't currently got any in Germany, which we want to try and make sure we get rid of next turn. Unexpected accident, so we take one out of this cup. And we've got a war in Denmark. Does anything happen? The war in Denmark. We had Finland. It's on the counter tray. It's quite good that the main French fleet mark has gone because if we lose this war. Eventually it hasn't been discarded. We'd have to put it in the high seas back, it'd be back on the control, but uh, that's irrelevant. So where's Denmark? Where are we? Up here. We've got a chance to move the Napoleon Abdicates marker here as well. The Finland High Politics chit goes in the cup. When we pull that, that will trigger the French invasion of Russia. So that's going to happen in the next couple of turns, it looks like. But let's concentrate on this minor war. We, we need to move that Napoleon abdicates marker over. So we get plus two. Oh no, we don't get the plus two because we just turned that over. Right, how much money have we got? I guess I need to roll 11. Minor war fund is eight. I'm going to spend six pounds to modify this to make sure we win. And roll two dice, we're already on six. We've just got enough. Perfect. So we win the minor war there, and Napoleon abdicates, marker moves up one. Too little, too late, you feel, but we're still in the game, and that is the last of the random accidents for this turn. So we're now on to turn 12, so we've got five turns left. We need to get Napoleon out of case, move him 11. It's, it's probably possible just about because the number of accidents um, that can move Napoleon out of the I think there's one or two that move it too. I'm not 100% sure, but I think there is. So it's, it's not officially over, but it'd be like, and anybody from uh, Europe will understand this analogy this week. Um, 
it'll be like Real Madrid coming back in the Champions League semi-final against Manchester City. That's what's uh, that's what's needed in the last few turns of this game. Anyway, thank you for tuning in again. I will be back very soon with turns 13, uh, turns twelve and thirteen. Okay, cheers.